When it comes to style, K-pop superstar and Blackpink member Jennie Kim is clearly a believer that chic is everything. After all, you don't earn a nickname like Human Chanel without having impeccable style and a sense of flair. Of course, it also doesn't hurt if you're a global ambassador for the world famous brand as well. Yes, hey guys, so I just wanted to stop and shout out Yeesol for sending us our new G1 exercise bike. I love staying active and I love doing what I can from the comfort of my own home, but it can be hard to stay motivated sometimes, so I love that Yeesol sent Michael and I this amazing bike. It's lightweight and compact, so we were able to set it up in our main living area so it could be even used while one of us is watching TV. One of the coolest features of this bike is its huge 32-inch screen that also also fully rotates, meaning you can turn the screen and use it for your mat workouts or yoga or stretching. Everything is also easily adjustable to make it comfortable, so switching between Michael and I's use is simple. When you download the Yeesol app, it syncs directly to the bike and you can just go ahead and choose your class, whether it's a spin class, a scenic ride, stretching, you name it. And if you prefer, the screen mirroring function will let you watch whatever is on your phone on the Yeesol 2 if you prefer whether it's a YouTube workout, some music, or even the Peloton app, if that's more your thing. If you've been wanting a bike like this for your at-home workouts and were looking for a sign, this is it. And for all you famous entertainment viewers out there, I have a code for you. Yeesol is giving you an additional 10% off if you use my code FAMOUSENTERTAINMENT10. And you can find that and the link in the description. After exiting the black pink dorm that she shared with her fellow group members, a few years ago now, Jenny struck out on her own and brought her sense of style all the way to her new residence located in Hanamdong, Seoul. Known to locals as the Beverly Hills of South Korea, Hanamdong is where some of the wealthiest citizens of the city live. In fact, it's said that the living spaces here have largely been reserved for the top 1% of South Korea's richest individuals. I'm talking the likes of politicians, businessmen, and other celebrities such as BTS and G-Dragon. Within Hanamdong is a spot known as UN Village, a collection of apartment buildings whose units boast price tags somewhere between $2 million to $7 million. Owning a residence in this building is highly sought after by Seoul residents, largely because of the excellent feng shui generated by being in between Namsan Mountain and the Han River. Tucked into a far corner of UN Village is Jenny's own apartment complex, which has been nicknamed simply the house. This secluded private building is far away from the hustle and bustle of Seoul, and while it might not be situated within a gated community, security guards still regularly patrol the nearby streets. So for anyone thinking about checking that area out for themselves and knowing K-pop fans, that's a lot of you, you might want to think twice before getting into trouble. Instead, I have a better idea. Keep watching this video because I will take you inside Jenny's home and show you around. Let's start with what all of you are probably most curious to hear about. How much exactly did Blackpink's Jenny Kim have to spend on her fabulous new digs? Well, according to reports, it was likely somewhere around $4.4 million. After spending all that money, Jenny became the proud owner of a two-floor, 4,628 square foot home that boasts four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Sounds like a lot of space for just one woman, right? Well, the general belief is that Jenny doesn't live here alone. Instead, she shares the living space with her mom, which must have earned her daughter of the year accolades the moment her mother moved in and saw how stunning this place is. Upon entering Jenny's apartment, you too will be wowed by the floor to ceiling windows that stand nearly two full floors in the living room. This allows for plenty of natural sunlight to reflect magically off the marble tiled floors in the unit's main living space. This contemporary looking room has been furnished with a modular sofa and off in the corner there's also a treadmill for Jenny to exercise with at home as well as a stationary bike. Another cool thing about her living room is that it provides access to a private garden and balcony. Some originally speculated that Jenny probably lived in a unit facing the scenic Han River, but she actually lives on one of the lower levels with a balcony boasting a healthy helping of greenery. Just how much space does Jenny have in her living room? Well, a couple of years ago this fashion 
Janice to help us put things into perspective when she showed off a nearly 10 foot tall Christmas tree, which is almost twice as big as your average. Meanwhile, over in Jenny's open concept kitchen, you'll discover a plus sized island that comes complete with a marble counter, as well as a metal surface that reflects the surroundings and helps give the impression that the cooking space is bigger than it actually is. Being a full on foodie, Jenny also owns a commercial grade refrigerator, oven, and a wine chiller with wooden racks. All of these features have been built in and seamlessly tucked away in white cabinets, which helps keep the kitchen feeling clean and uncluttered. Adjacent to the kitchen is a small lounge that includes a number of gorgeous plants and a chandelier overlooking a series of comfy seats. It's basically the perfect spot to kick up your feet and open a good book. Of course, if she prefers to read in bed, then Jenny can head upstairs to the second floor, where she's installed a luxury mattress by Hazen's in her prime memory sweet. Well, you might be wondering why I'm bothering to mention the brand. Well, let's just say that this isn't your typical mattress manufacturer. In fact, entry level prices for one of these beauties will set you back as much as $13,000. As for Jenny, well, rumor has it that she spent as much as $133,000 on hers. I mean, if she's willing to spend that much in a mattress, you just know her ensuite has to be equally amazing. Decked out in white marble tiles with a subtle hint of gravy, veins lining the walls and floors, Jenny's charming bathroom has also been equipped with a shower and an extra large double vanity. There's even an elegantly shaped bathtub in here right next to a floor to ceiling window. Outside of these incredible living spaces, Jenny has also proven that she has an eye for decor as well, selecting several statement pieces worth taking a closer look at. For instance, she owns an incredible Saletti toilet paper lipstick mirror, which not only serves as a spot for Jenny to check out her daily fit, but also provides an aesthetic accent thanks to its unusual decal design. Then there's her powder blue Rauch Bois bubble mini sofa. A playful furnishing with a healthy helping of charm that carries forward the art deco vibe that you can see through most of her home. Jenny's passion for pastels has also been further showcased thanks to a series of pink pieces, including a screen, a curvy bedside table, and a specifically designed statement mirror. All right, I think that should provide you all with a pretty thorough sense of what Jenny's day-to-day -day life in Seoul is like. But before we head out, there's one last place that I want to show you. Over on her YouTube channel, Jenny has occasionally dropped content documenting her frequent trips to Los Angeles, California. During the course of these videos, she also revealed that she stays at a specific rental unit while working overseas. One with a very modern kitchen that includes wooden cabinets, as well as a built-in stainless steel fridge and oven. A few steps away from there is her bedroom, which boasts an extra wide multi-level cabinet dresser for all of her clothes, as well as direct access to a tiny private balcony. Outside of that, there aren't nearly as many details about this place as there are about her Seoul home base. But hey, at least Jenny's got herself her very own swimming pool in LA, even if she doesn't use it all that often. Hopefully sometime in the near future, Jenny will provide us with a few more details about her lifestyle while kicking it in America. But for now, we'll just have to continue to conjure up what that must be like for ourselves. No matter what way you look at it though, it's clear Jenny is living her absolute best life in what has to be one of the most enviable places to call home in all of South Korea. All right, guys and girls, that's going to bring this house tour to a close. Thank you so much for watching. And before you head out, consider answering the following question. Considering how much time we all spend in bed, what is the absolute most you'd be willing to pay for a top of the line mattress? Let me know if you'd be willing to climb as high as six figures like Jenny in the comments below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.